So guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you what God Galaxy is, what it does, and what it doesn't do. Because I've maybe failed you in that previous one. We're going to rectify that this time around. Also, how many of you have a GOG account? How many of you are using GOG Galaxy already? And what would you like covered in it? I've already got a video that tells you how to do stuff in it. It should pop up somewhere if I remember. It should be in the description somewhere. How to use it, how to add your own lists and so forth. Do you use it? Do you know how to use it? Do you want more videos on it? Let me know. Also, subscribing, hitting the bell, and not smashing the like button, but caressing it. Let's me know you want more, that you like the content. So do that if you haven't already. Let's do it. So before we get into what GOG Galaxy is, let me just quickly give you a brief history on what exactly GOG.com is. So GOG.com used to be known as Good Old Games. It's digital distribution platform like Steam or what have you, but the main difference with it is that it started out as offering you classic games that were either what their class as abandonware, unworkable on new machines, or you just couldn't buy them or play them legally. It made them work and it made them legal. It started out with giving uh, free games as incentive to create an account. I was one of the first people uh, to join up on there and get some of the stuff, and I was amazed at all the stuff that they had there. So remember as well, these games are DRM free. And I'm sure what most of you should know what DRM3 is, but essentially it means that there's no uh, Denuvo or any of that stuff that's meant to potentially destroy an SSD. You can just play the games down and then put them on a physical drive, um, physical media, wherever you want to put them, play them, put them on your mother's machine in the household. Don't just send it out to the world, obviously, but you know, in your household and that without buying multiple copies. It's good stuff. I like GOG.com. This is not sponsorship. Just letting you know what it is. That's how it started out. And around 2012, March, went to Wikipedia. That's when they started putting more recent games in. And sometimes, you know, it takes a while for certain games to get on there because not every company is keen on giving you stuff that is literally really yours without any DRM or online connections necessary. So that's a brief history on GOG.com. Create an account. You need it, and you're going to need it for anything to do with GOG Galaxy anyway. It's good stuff. And uh, yeah, go CD Projekt Red. Even with the dodgy PS4, Xbox, Cyberpunk thing going on. Although I don't know why you'd want to play a non-ray traced 1080p uh, Cyberpunk anyway, but that's neither here nor there, I digress. Let's move on. So, what does God Galaxy not do? It does not let you play games you don't own for free. Stop asking me that. Nope, doesn't make sense. Why would you have something like Games Pass if you could just use God Galaxy and play them for free without paying Microsoft any money? Stop. That's not how it works. It does not let you buy games on GOG.com that are not on GOG.com. Does that make sense? I hit the mic. Yeah, it needs to be on GOG.com if you're going to be able to buy it in the first place. It does not let you play Xbox, PS4, Switch or any other console games on the PC through GOG Galaxy. No, that doesn't do that. You can't play PlayStation 5 on your PC via GOG Galaxy or any other console. Just get that out of your brain, forget about it, stop, get help. It also doesn't make coffee or coffee, but you know what? Makes a mean lemon water tea. What it does do, first and foremost, do remember that God Galaxy 2 is still in beta currently at time of recording. So what it does do is likely less than what it will do or be able to do tomorrow. That wrote way better than it read. So it does list catalog and allows you to search the games you own, want or rent via Game Pass or EA Play, for example, from up to 16 integrations, last counted, including Steam, Xbox, EA, Epic, Ubisoft Connect, PlayStation. Are these all the right names? I keep changing the names of all these things now. I can't keep up anymore. It does allow you to create your own lists of games not picked up by the integrations or simply to create a stream list or a to buy list. You can do that in this. It does show you what your friends are up to in the various platforms that they might be on. Friends not included, by the way. It does allow you to install, download and launch PC games from various launchers like GOG itself. I've just hit the table. I'm just going to mess up the mic. Like GOG itself, Steam, EA Origin, Uplay. It must be called Uconnect now or Ubisoft Play Plus, I don't know. Not tested, but last checked anyway, and this has the idea. Special mention that GOG content usually includes cool things like uh, extra downloads and stuff like wallpapers and documents and documentaries and whatever else you can download with their, their kind of exclusives and stuff. Uh, and that's 
easier to do in God Galaxy as well. It also lists, or it does list all yours and your friends' achievements and stats from the many platforms that, that have them, which is handy because there are a lot of them. And since it's in beta, there's a sloth of other features to come, such as cross-platform chat, coffee making abilities, and probably even more ridiculously, Linux support, which is probably like, you shouldn't be using Linux. The only reason you're using Linux is if you're wanted for stealing some kids' sweets or something, but they're probably gonna have it eventually. It's just not priority because like, people use Linux for servers. No one uses Linux. Windows, Mac first. They'll get to Linux eventually if they haven't already. I don't think they have. So don't send me any messages about there's no Linux version, two thumbs down. No one cares about Linux unless they're doing servers or something illegal, okay? Hackers use Linux. Stop. Get help. Okay, so I think I've successfully covered all the things that God Galaxy 2 does and does not do. Check out god.com slash galaxy for more information that I may have missed. Also, check out the video that's on the screen now. It should be it. It's going to tell you how to use God God Galaxy 2. Or God Galaxy 2. You know what I mean. And remember, Lions, we love you, really. So hit the like button. Don't smash it. Need it for other people. Subscribe. Do the bell thing. All that good stuff. Thank you so much. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. Are you using God Galaxy? Happy gaming. And yeah, thanks.